Hey guys, in this video I'm going to do the free review of the Android M developer review for the Google Nexus 9. And let's just quickly start off. So of course, uh, from the lock screen, you can see we have these uh, three uh, shortcuts. You can just unlock your device or you can quickly go into the camera, which I'm going to show you. This is how the camera looks like. Uh, the interface is basically the same. Um, you can see that but we do have a little bit changed focus, a little bit better focus which I have seen on the on the Nexus 5 so you can see that the focus is not changed, we have this pop-up type focus and the focus is also available uh, now on the front camera I have a switch to the front camera, you can see I can focus with the front facing camera that, that is also nice um, then also we have the, the uh, shortcut here for the Google Now if I can just unlock it like this, you can instantly um, access the Google Now. So of course, I don't have the Wi-Fi at the moment, but anyways, so this is how the home screen looks like. Of course, with both rotation uh, for the Nexus 9, you can see that. And then also, uh, if you hold down the screen, you will see these three options: the wallpaper, widget, and the settings. Uh, this is the default wallpaper that you are seeing right now. This is the default wallpaper of uh, the Android M. We also do get one live wallpaper uh, which is the Sunbeam and I don't think so that we have on here on the Nexus 9 but of course that is available for the Nexus 5 and the 6. Uh, then also you can go here uh, into, main, uh, into the Google Now settings basically uh, which is really nice. You can have that uh, uh, Now cards from Google Now uh, quickly access them uh, from the shortcut but that is not available in this release or in this build um, so um, you can see this is how the app draw looks like you can scroll like this you have to scroll vertically uh, this is not like you know, like we have seen in the previous build you know horizontal scrolling so this is um, a vertical um, scrolling and uh, and it is a lot easier now to search applications like you quickly you can um, search any application let's say say camera I can just quickly launch camera from here. Um, this is how the uh, the notification uh, center panel looks like. Uh, the same Android 5.1.1 um, 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 and Bluetooth settings. You can see the quick arrows, and then also we have the Do Not Disturb mode, where you can just completely um, silence your Nexus device. You know you're not gonna receive any any um, any notification or anything like that. You can have this total silence mode enable. Um, it works really fine, and uh, and of course it's a developer preview, so we will see uh, a lot of bugs. So it is recommended that you not use it as your main build. You should wait for the official build. So let's go here into main settings. You can see a lot. It looks uh, a lot like the lollipop, the same type of whitish background. Um, but if you go into the the about tablet option, and you can see there is no Easter egg at the moment. You see just a smiley there, emoticon basically, and if I tap on the build number a couple of times, it will unlock the developer options. Now in developer options, we have an option here called as theme. Now you can have your theme to light, which is I'm using at the moment. I can have it on the dark. Now you can see I have darker theme. It looks a little bit different. So dark theme is available in the developer options, a little bit hidden. You can call it like a hidden feature that you will not see on the main settings, rather in the developer options. So um, you can see all the options are basically the same. Um, no, no major changing there. Um, you have this Google Now options right here. Then also, let's go back, and you can also see that we have uh, the apps. If I go here into the apps. And and you can see these are the apps that are that that basically are installed on my tablet, and I can also access the system applications here. If I click on the system application, you know, the system application that are basically hidden. And then also if I go here into advanced, and then if I go here into memory, this is the most advanced feature of the Android M, which is the its uh, RAM management. You can see uh, how many apps. Uh, are basically taking your RAM. You can see this this app here, Google Play Services, are taking the RAM here. This green bar tells the maximum RAM usage, and the the, the light light uh, green or bluish uh, light white part tells the minimum. So 
I mean, this is the, the light part tells you the free, this tells you the maximum usage, and this tells you the average. So you can see this app basically uses a, more RAM. Um, so you can also um, force stop any application from here. I mean, this is really convenient. So RAM management is really nice with the Android M. Um, also, you can go into app permissions. You can um, have your custom app permissions, uh, like location, like if you can say camera, if you turn it off, your camera will not going to access your location. I mean, this is really nice. This is the type of feature that we wanted before. Uh, you know, you can hide your, your sensitive information from from a lot of application of course I don't have Facebook or Instagram or anything like that I can hide my uh, my, my uh, you know location from that you can also hide your location from Google connectivity services I mean it's a really nice option then also uh, if I go back here we have some default apps option here which basically this uh, this feature was there on previous Android builds but it was like hidden and, and not well made and now we have a proper setting here like I can have a different default browser app so currently it, it has the default Chrome as a Google uh, uh, Chrome as a default app but if I want to have like UC browser as my default app I can download and install it I can, and I can make it my default app from here so this works really fine so this is the full um, you know the main changing in the Android M um, developer preview uh, it is definitely um, it definitely changed in terms of app drawers, some little bit changing in the in the settings, and you know some new features. Um, so it is definitely not that much change in terms of its looks. It looks the same as the lollipop, um, and um, and yeah, I'll be posting a tutorial for how to install it. Uh, stay tuned, and uh, and uh, and I'll see you next video. Peace out.